بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از مدیحہ صغیر فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف زولوجی بینک روڈ کیمپس یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور سو اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی گو نو ٹاک اباؤٹ اسپیشیز کانسیپٹ اوکے اسٹوڈنٹس ان آر فرسٹ پارٹ آف دس لیکچر وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا typological species concept and nominalistic species concept and today in the second part we are going to talk about the biological species concept we will be discussing about the basic concept basic idea of the biological species concept and uh, its uh, main advantages and its about all its uh, disadvantages or shortcomings so we gonna discuss about uh, uh, everything that is related to the biological species concept right okay uh, another type of the species concept is the biological species concept biological species concept is uh, a much more well accepted concept by uh, many biologists and um, this concept was uh, given by Ernst Mayer in 1942 uh, what we had in the previous concepts we classify the organism into species different species um, on the basis of their morphological similarities previous concepts of the species this did not say anything about the species that either do the individuals belonging to the same species they interbreed or not right uh, they did not give any information like this but if we talk about the biological species concept then it gives this information so if we come to the proper definition of uh, biological species concept then uh, according to this concept a biological species sexually interbreeding or potentially interbreeding group of individuals Uh, what biological species biological species is a group of individuals that could interbreed with each other and uh, potentially interbreeding means that they uh, they could interbreed if if they could uh, if they got the opportunity if they could uh, if they could get a chance they could interbreed right so um the biological species is sexually interbreeding or potential interbreeding group of individuals separated from other species how do they are separated from other species by the absence of genetic exchange uh, they are separated from the individuals belonging to an other kind of the species how because there is a absence of genetic exchange between the biological between, between the species of the one group and the species of the two group the organisms in other words you may say that the individuals or organisms that are belonging to different species that cannot exchange their genetic material they cannot have the successful Uh, reproduction or successful interbreeding because of the reproductive or other barriers reproductive or other barriers mean uh, we have talked a lot about the reproductive isolation so reproductive isolation means there are two kinds of reproductive isolation pre mating post mating pre mating isolation is what pre mating isolation this what all you have uh, studied a lot in your isolation lecture in your uh, speciation lecture we have talked many times uh, while uh, through this course about the uh, reproductive isolation kinds of the reproductive isolation so uh, it could be a biological species is separated from the rest of the species or other species by means of the um, reproductive isolation or other kind of barriers they could be the barriers that leads to the um, prevention of the exchange of the genetic materials between the species and second definition is a group of organisms both definitions essence of the board definition is same the concept is same just wording is different i have just given the two definitions otherwise the uh, these definitions are different in their wordings um, basic concept is the same a group of organisms that can successfully interbreed and produce fertile offspring so to be a part of uh, a same species individuals could be successfully interbreed with one another or in the other words you may say that they could uh, be the uh, sexual mates of each other successful breeding is what successful breeding is that in which individuals two individuals could produce together produce viable fertile offspring 
if they could not mate then it means that they are not belonging to the same species and if they could mate but they are not able to produce the fertile viable offspring that it means that again that they are not belonging to the same species so two conditions uh, have to be fulfilled to be the part of the uh, same species one is the successful interbreeding and second is the uh, production of the fertile offspring and uh, mm, a very common and general example you have gone through many times about the mule that is the product of the mating product of the uh, mare mare is what female horse mare and the donkey now they could mate but their uh, breeding is not successful because the mule which they have produced is morphologically it's fine organism or individual but it is sterile so it means a donkey and horse both belong to the separate species they don't belong to the same species so this was the biological species concept that was given by Ernst Mayer okay a biological species has three separate functions uh, a, bi a biological species could act as a reproductive community it could act as an ecological unit it could act, act as a genetic unit whenever we're talking about the single species then a group single species means that the group uh, that has the individuals that are belonging to the same species make a community and why it is called the reproductive community because every individual or every member of that group is able is capable of interbreed with the other member of the same group or the same species so in this way a biological species group is what it is a community reproductive community in which individuals can be the um, sexual mates of each other right so let's read it reproductive community members of a species form a reproductive community that is what is reproductive community that is individuals of the species recognized each other as the potential mates right potential word is used why because every individual has the opportunity if they got the opportunity they uh, could mate right if they could mate then it means that they are belonging to the same species but second uh, requirement should be fulfilled that after mating they uh, should have produced the fertile viable offsprings so a group of species that uh, in which the individuals uh, could interbreed is called the biological species and that group makes a reproductive community second is the ecological unit in your environment uh, you are not only there is not only one species there is not only group of uh, members that belong to the same species there are many different species so a single species is uh, act like a unit unit means group it acts like a unit and it interacts with other species uh, as a group that are sharing in the same environment third one is a genetic unit species is a genetic unit that consists of large gene pool whereas an individual is merely a temporary vessel holding a small portion of a gene so a biological species is uh, that unit or is that group that uh, that acts like a genetic unit why um if we take a very um easy example uh, just to make you understand the concept uh, suppose I, you are the uh, semester 6 of BS or the semester 2 of uh, MS or MSc right so the semester 6 or semester 2 is itself a unit is a group and a species name is semester 6 or a species name is semester 2 if you have a strength suppose uh, the semester 6 students have a strength of 30 and each student carry a single gene one gene so on the whole the whole unit of the semester 6 make a genetic unit how that we could say that semester 6 genetic unit uh, has a gene pool that has a 30 genes in it so gene pool has a 30 genes but in those 30 genes one student is providing or holding just one gene of uh, of the all gene pool got this point so gene pool is what gene pool is total genes total genetic material of the species 
and in that total genetic material gene pool a one individual carry a very small portion of a gene of a gene right so uh, uh, if your strength is 30 there are the 30 and each student is carry only one gene then we could say that gene pool consists of 30 genes of semester 6 right but um, one student and contribute only one gene to the gene pool so this is what this is what the genetic unit now read it again genetic unit species a genetic unit that consists of a large gene pool where as individual individual of that species merely a temporary vessel holding a small portion of a gene right now let's come to the requirements of the biological species concept bsc is the abbreviation used for the biological species concept what are the requirements bsc requires that the organism of species exchange genetic information through interbreeding yes this is what we have talked in our previous slide in the definition also that organisms if they are belonging to the same species then they could exchange their genetic material and they could exchange their genetic material through what through sexual uh, through interbreeding and interbreeding requires the sexual reproduction it means that we could say that this concept of the species biological species concept does not take into account the asexual organisms we can implement this concept only to those organisms that are reproducing through sexual reproduction. So first requirement of the biological species concept is the sexual reproduction. Second is what biological species concept does not require that every member of species successfully interbreed but it does require that a sufficient number of organisms sexuality produce to maintain our species integrity. Uh, this uh, first requirement is the exchange of genetic material that is done through the sexual reproduction and second requirement that a sufficient number of the individuals should reproduce. If sufficient number of the individuals should reproduce then they maintain the integrity of the species. Otherwise if only few individuals will reproduce then ultimately the species will go extinct. So, to make the species or to maintain the species extent or living, maximum number of individuals should interbreed and reproduce. Right? So, these are the two basic requirements of the biological species concept. Okay, now come to the shortcomings of the biological species concept. There are many uh, shortcomings, there are many drawbacks, there are many disadvantages of uh, this con uh, species concept as well. So first one is insufficient information. This concept gives us insufficient information about the variations that are present in a single species or in the single population. For example, individual variations in all its forms often raises the doubt whether a certain morph type morph type mean morphological type apparently this type is separate species or only a phenon within a variable population phenon is what phenon is a group of individuals um, that are apparently similar or that are grouped because of their uh, similar characteristics but they don't have uh, they don't have uh, similarity in their genetics right so they are apparently or phenotypically they are uh, similar but they are uh, not genetically uh, with a part of the same species so for example so this uh, biological species concept gives uh, insufficient information regarding the different uh, uh, morphs or different variations that are present in the same population like here i have given the uh, figure of the ants you can see that this is also ant of the same species and this is also ant both are belonging to the same species but both are morphologically different so uh, why because uh, you know that uh, species in case of the insects uh, insects form the colonies and in colony individuals there is a division of labor in between the different individuals of the uh, colony so uh, according to the uh, the work they are doing they uh, are morphologically also different but instead they belong to the uh, same species for example let's read it organism may look different but yet be the same species it is not necessary that if uh, organisms are belonging to the same uh, biological species uh, must have the same appearance as well. For example, look at these ants. You might think that they are distantly related species. According to their appearance, we could say that they are not belong 
uh, they doesn't they don't belong to the same species but actually they belong to the same species in fact they are the sisters two ants of the species fedole barbata fulfilling different roles in the same colony so uh, this is what this uh, information is lacking in the biological species concept this is one of the shortcomings of the biological species concept that it does, did not give the information about the variations that are present in the same species okay the second uh, drawback of uh, biological species concept is what apomictic or asexual group it does not uh, we cannot implement this concept on the apomictic means that the individuals that have been produced by without fertilization is by asexual means so uh, we cannot uh, implement this concept of the species on uh, organisms that are asexually reproducing themselves um, the, uh, let's read it. The problem is that most of the life on this planet does not reproduce sexually but asexually through cloning or vegetative means. Asexual organisms do not form species according to the BSC. As I told you that asexual organisms cannot uh, be classified into different species uh, through this biological species concept because it involves the sexual uh, reproduction or um, interbreeding. Uh, cloning is, you know, uh, making an exact copy of uh, something. So, in case of animals, it is the formation of the offspring that is quite identical to that of the parent by uh, asexual mode. And uh, biological species concept is not applicable in apomictic species and that do not fulfill interbreeding criterion, which is the most important characteristic feature of biological species concept, right? Apomictic groups show uniparental reproduction. Uniparental reproduction means that by reproduction by means of a single parent. Uh, either by parthenogenesis, you know uh, what parthenogenesis is for parthenogenesis, the development of an ovum or egg into the into an uh, adult individual without uh, fertilization. The ovum uh, did not go uh, in fertilization with the sperm, but it directly develops into the adult. So this is parthenogenesis. Apomixis is also the asexual reproduction that involves especially a, a, this term is used in case of the plants that involves the formation of the seeds without fertilization. And budding is also a uh, form of the asexual reproduction that uh, you know bud is what the small uh, portion of the body and got uh, and disconnected from the rest of the body and uh, uh, got formed the bud or the swelling and that uh, bud then separates from the parent and develops into a new individual that is exactly like that of the parent. So these are all different uh, modes of the asexual reproduction and these animals that are reproducing themselves through these modes could not uh, be classified on the basis of the biological species concept. Okay, the third type of the uh, drawback or the lackings of uh, in the biological species concept is evolutionary intermediacy. Well, in previous uh, slides, we have talked about the individuals that look different but that belong to the same species. But here, what is happening that the individuals that look same exactly same and they appear they are alike but they belong to the different species why they belong to the different species because of according to the biological species concept to, to be a part of the same species why individuals should um, interbreed successfully but the uh, here what individuals morphologically are similar but they don't interbreed it means that they belong to the different species um, for example here you can see that this is a picture of the western um, middle arc and this is the picture of the eastern middle arc these two birds you can say that they are quite identical in their morphology they are quite identical in their plumage color even in their plumage color but they belong to the different species one is the neglecta and other one is the magna species why because they don't interbreed that's why they belong to the different species now uh, let's read it 
for example western middle larks uh, sternella neglecta and eastern middle larks sternella magna look almost identical to one another yet do not interbreed with each other thus they are separate species according to this definition now why this is the uh, one of the drawback of the uh, bsc because um it does not give us the information about the evolutionary relationship of the organisms that's why uh, this is one of the shortcomings of the uh, biological species concept we are just uh, uh, though if we take the definition of the uh, typological species concept we could uh, put these two birds in the same species but according to this concept they belong to the different species why because they are reproductively isolated but this uh, concept it, uh, does not give us an information about their um, evolution that how these birds are maybe evolutionary they have uh, the common uh, parents the common ancestors but um, now they have been uh, speciated into different species so this information is lacking in the biological species concept okay the third disadvantage of the biological species concept is what the chrono species it could not be implemented on the chrono species chrono species are the species that have been gone through the uniform um, change there is a uniform pattern of the change uh, to the their evolutionary lineage for example in this if here you could see the trilobite uh, and lineage uh, previously these are the ancestors and trilobite is a group of orthropods that have been extinct now right they are not extinct they are uh, extinct now and uh, they belong to the class trilobita you can see there is a uniform change in the spines of the trilobite it becomes denser and denser um, as the trilobite uh, goes through the evolutionary pathway so now let's see read it chrono species are different stages in the same evolving lineage that existed at different points in time uh, obviously chrono species present uh, present a problem for biological species concept because uh, biological species concept did not uh, uh, give any information about the evolution about the ancestors of the species for it is not really possible uh, to figure out whether a trilobite living 300 million years ago would have interbred with its ancestor living 310 uh, million years ago or not so uh, this kind of information uh, we couldn't get uh, through the biological species concept so we could not apply this concept on the uh, extinct organisms uh, that's why this is one of the disadvantage of the biological species concept this trilobite lineage below evolved over time now you cannot tell here that either the a b c d are the different species or these are the same species that belonging to the same group of species so uh, on the basis of bsc we cannot uh, categorize the um, extinct organisms or in other words you can also say that we cannot categorize the chrono species that uh, look almost similar but they have the just a, a similar uniform change due to the time due to the evolution so we cannot identify these organisms on the basis of this concept okay students today we have uh, talked about in detail uh, biological species concept and in the third and the last part of this lecture we're going to talk about the rest of the three um, species concept that is of uh, phylogenetic species concept, evolutionary species con concept and the fanatic species concept. Till then take care of yourselves and the surrounding ones. Thank you so much. Allah Fiz.